So good day everyone. Today we have the 2024 Land Rover Defender. This is going to be a full in-depth review of the exterior, interior, and engine details of the Defender. Now with a key fob around the vehicle, you could lock and unlock the doors just by pressing this square button on all the door handles. So currently it's unlocked and if you want to lock it, just press the square button. And the side mirror closes up if you close the doors. And to unlock, just press it again and it unlocks. Now on the inside, you're greeted with a soft touch material. It's uh, like an Alcantara finish. And you have your plastic materials on the door sidings giving you that rugged feel on the inside. And you have your perforated leather seats on the design of the seats. And you have height adjustment right here, your lumbar and your recliner adjustment right here as well. Now, with the key fob inside the vehicle, you could start the accessories just by pressing this button. So accessories and ignition goes with that one push. And to start the engine, just put your foot on the brake and push the button to start. There we go. Now on the inside, you are greeted with a four-spoke steering wheel covered in leather. And before that, before we tackle the most of the interior, let's go and check out the exterior first by turning on the headlights. You have auto mode as well. You have fog lights and rear fog lights. And the hazard is right here. And all the windows are automatic up and down. When you combine luxury and off-road capabilities, we only think of one brand. It is the Land Rover from Britain. Combining both off-roading and luxury can be hard, but the Land Rover has always done it for more than the past seven decades. I love this place. It's, it's very mm. from Rolling down. North, now anybody can say the North is flat. Right? It's so luxurious that even the late King George VI gave it a royal warrant in 1951. Having a royal warrant gives you the right to advertise that you actually supply your goods to the royal family and they actually use your products, giving you that image of a very prestige company. The Land Rover Defender was first introduced in the 1980s and it became an icon as the British boxy off-roader. It always came out with the 90, 110, or the 130 models which is actually their wheelbase lengths in inches during its very early models. What we have here is the 110 model, which is the best seller of them all. It has four doors for passengers and a good amount of storage space on the back. The new Defender, which was launched just before the pandemic, is known as the L663 model, and it was a very refreshing look from its predecessors. It still has that boxy body on it but updated the design overall to the modern standards. It features LED lights around the exterior, an adjustable air suspension, and a ton of modern features for your everyday luxury off-roader. The overall exterior looks, in my opinion, is most likely well thought out, retaining that classic look of the Defender but instilling that modern touch on the vehicle. So if you want a conclusion, it's basically two words. Luxury and off-road. That is what the Land Rover Defender is. And let's go and pop the hood and check the engine. This Land Rover Defender 110 has the 2.0 liter inline 4-cylinder dual overhead cam gasoline engine 
which produces 296 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. It has a top speed rating of 191 kilometers per hour and engine is mated with an 8-speed automatic transmission and only comes in a 4-wheel drive system. Mixed fuel consumption rating is 9.2 kilometers per liter with a fuel tank capacity of 90 liters. Let's give her a few revs and check how the engine sounds. So on the inside, you have your leather wrapped steering wheel. Now on the left side of the steering wheel, you have your controls right here, mainly for the gauge cluster, which we'll tackle on later. You have your voice command and your rocker right here. On the right hand side, you have your cruise control and your speed limiter. And you have your guidance lines in here as well. Now let's go and check out the features of the gauge. So first and foremost, you have your speedometer right here and your RPM right on the right-hand side. And the features right here is, well, you have different uh, settings in here. You have your audio source for media, your phone, and vehicle uh, notification. So you have warnings, passenger airbag, some of the settings there and right here some information on your speedometer media driver assistance the map trip summary and all of these things very simple to use on the gauge cluster and one neat feature is in here that this one changes depending on which you are using it for so for example this one since we are uh, setting up the gauge it was the up and down left and right controls in here and now we're uh, we're not controlling the gauge cluster this one changed to a different button so this one has the phone and the previous and next but if we go and change the gauge cluster this would change up see very nice feature now here you have your eight speed automatic transmission with manual mode so in order for you to go to drive, just press this button right here with the brakes push down as well and you go to drive mode. And to reverse, just press this button again on the back and push it forward. You're now in reverse and you have your rear backup camera and your 360 camera right here. You have your on-road and off-road uh, settings depending on what you need. You have your 3D right here. very nice and to park just press the p button now in here you have your controls for the drivetrain and your air conditioning system first and foremost we open the air conditioning system we turn on this fan right here and this one's lit up on orange and you can adjust the fan speed so you have air conditioning vents on the top of the dashboard which is quite unusual for this day's uh, modern dashboards but anyway it still works and you have your temperature right here dual zone climate control uh, you have your temperature on the driver's side and on the passenger side as well your defoggers for the front and back shield different zones and this one is your selector 
for which terrain you are driving into. So you have mud, sand, rock crawl, grass, gravel, and comfort. So it, it has a lot of uh, features. The Defender is known as the vehicle that you could bring anywhere technically. And this one automatically gives you the right settings uh, on depending on which terrain you are driving on. But for now, we're just going to pick Echo Mode. So this one, you have your height adjustment for your suspension. So this one has air suspension. You could adjust the height to go up and to go down right here, which I will show you on later. You have traction control and your hill descent control as well and your automatic uh, ignition. So I think that's about it on this center panel. Uh, it looks uh, complicated at first, but it's quite easy to understand. Right here, you have Type C USB and Type A. Let me tone down the the fans. So you have Type C and Type A, and your power outlet right here. Big amount of storage in here, which is uh, rubberized, not entirely made of plastic. And right here on the middle, you have cup holders and another pocket in here, probably for your cell phone. And this one, you have your container or storage compartment right here. And this one folds all the way down, probably for another storage area for the back seats, which is nice. In here, you have your rear view mirror, which is frameless, which looks elegant. Window visors with LED lights. And here on the dashboard, you have this accent right here, which has that soft touch material that goes around the vehicle right here. And even on the center console, feels really nice. You have pockets in here as well. And right here and right over there as well. With of course the Defender logo. Now let's go and tackle the entertainment system or the head unit. So this is the home screen. And you, are, you have your phone connectivity right here via Bluetooth, of course. You have your media, which you could connect via USB or Bluetooth or the FM radio. So, yeah, um, speakers around the front cabin. You have the door speakers and the tweeter speakers right there. And you have your slope assist. So currently, on this platform we have right now, check that one. So we're currently on the descent slope. And right here, we are on the pos positive side. So uh, the car is slightly tilted to the right. So this would tell you that you're on a flat surface or on a not so flat surface, actually. So... This one could be adjusted uh, depending on the settings you want. So even though you parked in a non-flat surface, the, the air suspension could automatically adjust for you to have a flat car on a non-flat surface, which is very nice, especially for those who want camping or do car camping. Here you have some notifications. You could install the new software they have, but we will not do that as of the meantime. And you have weight sensing. So this is probably for the water level. So you do not want to cross uh, wa a water level that's more than this one, 0.77 millimeters. And low traction launch, cameras, climate, uh, navigation mode. And this one's a valley mode. So this one's probably uh, a feature that you know a, a limited access or a very limited access for uh, the valley for you to have security on your vehicle when you leave the leave the vehicle to them and here's a four by four so th again uh, this is the same features uh, that I showed you earlier and the camera you can play around with the camera as well without going on to reverse 
it's very simple to use to be honest with you it it has a lot of features but the way they made this uh, operating system with this information uh, head unit or infotainment system is very simple it's very easy to use and i love how the os is built in and it looks very neat uh, to be honest so i think that's about it on the entertainment system let's go check this one so glove compartment right there another type c in here for probably for the passenger to charge their phone and just leave it there and on here on the left side you have your side mirror controls there we go your window controls and on the left side you have your handbrake or your electronic parking brake the unlock and lock door buttons and that's it this is the door handle right here and you have a small pocket in here for some documents or whatever you want to put there so i think that's about it in the front of the defender let's go and check out the rear seats on the back seat you have the same design on the rear doors you have your window control right over here speaker on the doors and your door handle right here seats could not be adjusted but can be folded down just like so So, sit in here is quite roomy, to be honest. And the headroom, of course, is, this is a tall vehicle. You would expect a lot of headroom right here. Not much problem on that one. And uh, on the back, you have the perforated seats as well. You have your armrest in here with your cup holders. Air conditioning vents on the back which is very nice for a very humid country like the Philippines. You have USB chargers in here, both type A, and a slot in here for some of your stops you want to put there. And you have this net, back net on both the front seats for extra storage. LED lights. Here we go. And one unique feature is this one right here it's like a small window for the sun to come in and give light on the inside i think this one really suits well on some instances you want to sleep on the back of the range rover i've seen some videos like fish 13 uh this one folds down the seats and you, you put on some inflatable or portable bed and this one serves or this one right here serves as your sunlight which is quite nice and here's the front view of the 2024 Land Rover Defender. It looks very sleek, especially with the colorway that they put in. It has that modern and ex exquisite feeling, but at the same time, it feels very rugged. You see the off-roady feel on those that uh, door panels right there. But when you go in here, it feels very luxurious. So you have the best of both worlds. It doesn't mean your vehicle is an off-roader. It doesn't uh, mean that it's not comfortable or luxurious. In the Land Rover, you get the best of both worlds. Very nice. So let's go and check out the cargo area in the back. Electronic switch. And in here, you have a pocket on the back door. You could open this up and you have your tools for the roadside assistance or the roadside emergencies. And in here, you have a compartment area for all your stuff. So I know it's a bit messy, but you get the gist. This is quite a big area for 
your stuff. Some hooks right here, both on each side. You have ambient lights in here and in here as well. You have nets right here for your pocket storage. And this one is a power outlet. This one, you could adjust the suspension right here. So you could lower down the vehicle. So it went down, as you can see the level right here. And if you want to rise it up, just press this button. And I think that's the max. And you can see the level now. You have more ground clearance. Very neat feature to put this in here. So you could load stuff or unload stuff very much easier depending on your height probably or your needs. And those seats can also be folded down for more cargo area here. Let me show you. There we go. And you can fold down the other seat as well for more storage area. And actually, if you want to really maximize the area, you could just pull this tab right here and fold this down like so. And there we go. You should, of course, fold this one and you would have a flat surface in here connecting to the cargo area. So I hope you enjoyed the full to review of the 2024 Land Rover Defender. There's a lot more to come. So please do subscribe and share and like my videos. This is Patrick Reyes TV, signing out.